We're following new developments in the horrifying Brooklyn subway shooting last month. NYPD sources telling the New York Post a faulty fan caused cameras to be down during the shooting that left 29 people wounded. The glitch also impacted subway stations where suspected gunmen Frank James entered and exited the transit system after the shooting. Here with reaction, Fox News contributor Lara Trump. Lara, always great to see you. Your reaction to the latest on this story as a, you know, somebody who lives in New York City, pays taxes here, the fact that these cameras weren't working and then add to that Eric Adams at the Met Gala last night wearing the message end gun violence. Why aren't we fixing the security cameras? Let's start there. Yeah. Yeah, let's start with the basics, Jackie. Exactly. It's it's all so crazy. I think for so many of us, um, look, you, I, I now live in Florida, but you're right. I lived in New York for 15 years. And I think for so many New Yorkers, they thought, man, it can't get much worse than Bill de Blasio. Whoever else we get in there is has got to be better. And unfortunately, Eric Adams kind of feels like Bill de Blasio 2.0. It feels like he really hasn't held up uh, his end of the bargain, done many of the things he claimed he would do during his campaign. Um, yes, it is absolutely outrageous that in a city like New York, you do not have security cameras working in the subway that is so vital when you have a situation as bad as what happened in that Brooklyn shooting. You need to have the cops uh, able to pinpoint where the, the suspect is to, so that this guy can get off the streets. He's not committing more crimes. He's not harming any more people. Um, but instead of focusing on things that matter, putting money into things like the cameras in the subway, I guess they were busy making sure that drug addicts can get high in New York, right. that the uh, Black Lives Matter painted outside on Fifth Avenue, outside of Trump Tower, is in pristine condition. Oh, and billboards down in Florida trying to encourage people to move back to New York. It is so crazy. And then to add insult to injury, yes, there was Eric Adams at the Met Gala, uh, you know, hobnobbing with the elites. And it's just so disappointing because I think we thought um, that we were going to get something different out of him. And it just seems like, unfortunately, the same old thing. Round two, Bill de Blasio, yeah. uh, another person that unfortunately is not going to do great stuff for New York. And that's what exactly what that city needs. We had high hopes, um, but now four months in, you know, those hopes are, are <laughs> dim at the best. Um, I want to talk to you about the Met Gala also, Elon Musk, last night. We have a soundbite on what he talked about Twitter, what his goal is. The goal that uh, that I have, uh, should the, you know everything uh, come to fruition with with Twitter, is uh, to uh, have a, a, a service that is broadly as broadly inclusive as possible, facilitating just discussion between people and uh, you know sharing ideas and and, and um, content and, and, and creative things. And he said before, Lara, that essentially this is just about having a platform for free speech, that neither side should be censored, that this isn't a partisan um, play per se, but that it's that democracy thrives when you can have discourse. And that's what he's going for here. Absolutely. Well, first of all, let me just say I loved that he took his mom to the Met Gala. Yeah. How incredible. I hope my son <laughs> one day takes me to an event like that. Um, but this is maybe the only glimmer of hope that people have right now is Elon Musk. I mean, the past year and a half has been really challenging for Americans, especially if you're conservative, because it felt like that we have been totally silenced, totally censored. And Elon Musk is such an even killed person, it feels like, to be in charge of you know, the, the public square of our time, Twitter. Um, so that is giving people, I think, a lot of hope for the future of America, that people all across this country and, and the world are going to have their voices heard once again. But it tells you, Jackie, I think all you need to know about where the folks on the left stand, that they are so outraged that it is going to be an even platform, that it is going to be a fair platform once again, that everybody can say what they want and what yeah. they think and not be censored. Um, because the reality is the folks on the left have had a stranglehold over Twitter, over social media, me mainstream media by and large, and they've been peddling their narrative for so long. I think they know that the only way they can control people in the way that they have for so long is to keep that going. So yeah. it is, I guess, very frightening and to see that, that the truth will come out and there will be fairness on a platform once and again. And the Wall Street Journal also reporting that Elon's goal is to take the company private, bring it back to IPO status in three years. So he wants to do this quickly. Lara Trump, thank you. Always great to see you.
Thank you.